Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin red candle, I just explained it in the Ethereum video as well, that I didn't move the wave A to the top here. Seems more likely now and fits much better the proportions looking at the count. Bitcoin is choosing the more likely option. Yeah, Bitcoin is going into the white support area, which is good news first, because having the wave two end here, which would have been a possibility as well, would have left us with a very shallow um, sorry, ending the B wave here would have left us with a very shallow B wave. So this is getting a little bit more likely, especially, um, and I, I can't remember where I mentioned, I think in the member live stream on the weekend, what you often get in such an ABC pattern, which could, again, it could be a B wave. It could also be a wave two of something more bullish. But at the moment, I'm just showing you here this as a, a three wave structure up just because it's more easy and more simple. And it doesn't really matter at the moment here looking at the short term. Because I think I did explain in previous videos, now that the price hasn't really moved for um, for a week, yeah, did explain the higher level scenarios now extensively. So we really only want to focus on the short term because this is now where the decision is taking place. But yeah, it could be a five wave move up, which is following, but then you have a one, two, three, four, five, or we just have an ABC. But you won't be able to recognize the difference really between this A and B and the one and two. So we just leave it like that, keep it simple. Um, but what did I mention? I mentioned in the, um, member live stream, I think that often what you get is in an ABC, which could be part of a wave two or a wave B, you often get the A wave go to the 38.2% FIP level. And then the wave C goes obviously down a bit lower. The B wave itself consists of ABC. So that worked out here. Yeah. The A wave did go, I mean, it wicked below it but then recovered very quickly. And then here we had another test of that 38.2% FIP level. So it seems more likely. And also, as I mentioned in the previous videos, it, it would be, it is the more likely option to go into the support area. So nice that Bitcoin followed that um, to get better signal here that this is actually a proper B wave. And from here at some point, Bitcoin should ideally now start to move up the same way we reversed out of the red support area. We should ideally, reverse out of the support area as well. I don't think the bounce is finished yet. Um, however, I would have to change my view if Bitcoin drops below 16,460, because then we are going below a level that would be likely for a B wave. Yeah, below 16,460, below the 78.6% FIP level, it will most likely not work out anymore, this move up. It could do, but it's all about likelihoods in these markets, okay? So um, yeah, key support levels here, the next ones, obviously we broke already below the 50% FIP retracement. Now, next support levels are the 61.8% retracement at 16,585 and the 78.6% retracement at 16,460. These are very relevant levels here. And again, it should not drop below 16,460, which doesn't mean it couldn't, it can, but it shouldn't in the current wave count then we have something much more bearish going on, at least with a high likelihood. So currently I still expect it to drop a little bit lower. We don't really, we haven't really seen any, yeah, significant, let's call it significant um, bullish price action here. We could, we could have bottomed already, but I'd like to see maybe a touch of the, at least a 61.8% FIP level or the 78.6. You could, could try to um, count the sub waves here. I mean, this looks like we could have nearly got the five waves in wave C complete. One, two, three, four, five. Um, so yeah, maybe one more leg down and then possibly the move up. And what would be the best signal that we are going up? Well, we see a little bit more structure than on the ETH chart. I think here, the very first signal would be a move above the wave four high. If it is a wave four, it looks like it. Um, that would be a move above 16,700 would be the first indication that a low has been made. An even better indication, however, would be if we break above the 50% retracement that is at 16,740, because then we could still say maybe we now do a wave four to the upside, right? But above 16,740, this is not a very um, likely anymore because then we're moving up a little bit too much for such a wave four. So yeah, at the moment, you know, I think at the moment, my assumption would be we're holding the white support area. I do expect it to hold. Going below it would surprise me, but it would just be more bearish and I would lose any trust in going higher in any scenario. I mean, 
um, even in the bearish one here in the blue count ABC I would like it to go to 17.3k at least um, going down straight away would um, well at least provide some clarity here and would most likely send us down first to 15,880 and if we lose that level as well then we're going to go down to 14 14 and a half K and that could then really be um, the low that ends the bear market but I think it's a bit too early for that um, going down already so I'd like to see a little bit more of a recovery here um, at this short term at least a little bit yeah either in this ABC pattern of wave 2 or a little bit higher here into the 19k region in a more bullish pattern but also there I would still expect another low for Bitcoin this is really just the short term view that we've got and um, yeah I think there is not really much more to say we now need to see how the price reacts to these FIP levels I mentioned to you the key supports and waiting ideally for a reversal here and if it doesn't happen then I gave you the key support level as well that's relevant um, and um, going below 16,460 but finding support above 16,300 would cost the chart a little bit of reliability I mean this is really what we should do if we follow the ideal wave patterns which is what we can do really but um, always recognizing that markets are uncertain right okay and that's my update about bitcoin i hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching Bye bye